Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today we are diving into a cosmic throwdown for the aces. Thanos the mad titan wielding the complete infinity gauntlet versus Dormammu the ruler of dark dimension. Buckle up because this is gonna be a wild one. First up Dormammu. Dormammu and his sister Umar, ancient beings known as Faultines, existed for eons until they killed their creator, Sinifer, and were exiled to the dark dimension, a realm brimming with chaotic energies. In this mystical realm, Dormammu observed the potent flames of Regency, elevating his power and assuming a tangible form. Over time, he ascended to become the feared ruler of Dark Dimension, tirelessly striving to extend his influence across the cosmos. This interdimensional baddie isn't messing around. In his home turf, the Dark Dimension is practically a god. Think limitless power, reality warping at his whim, basically a cosmic bully in his own basement. You might already be familiar with Thanos from the Avengers Infinity War and Endgame movies. This ruthless warlord with his purple skin and imposing chin is no stranger to galactic conquest. And by twisted sense of balance, he believes wiping out half of all life will save the universe from overpopulation. His quest for Infinity Stones, artifacts of immense power makes him a major threat to all existence. However, without the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos stands no chance against Dormammu. Sure, he's incredibly strong and a skilled fighter, but Dormammu's power within the Dark Dimension is godlike. Now, Thanos with the full gauntlet, that's a different story. Each stone grants him crazy abilities. Power Stone, raw strength that makes Hulk look like a toddler. Space Stone, teleportation, warping the battlefield, basically Thanos uber on steroids. Reality Stone, reality, more like Thanostopia. He can turn Dormammu into a fluffy bunny or erase him from existence. Soul Stone, soul manipulation, not just stealing. Thanos can rip the very life essence from Dormammu, draining his power and potentially even severing his connection to the Dark Dimension. Time Stone, time travel, check. Trapping Dormammu in a loop, double check. And finally, Mind Stone, super brain in gaze. Thanos can strategize circles around Dormammu. But who would win the battle between Thanos and Dormammu? Well, the battleground is key. Dormammu's power in the Dark Dimension is nigh omnipotent. Thanos' impressive strength and tactical mind wouldn't even slow him down. Even the Infinity Stones might be muted or distorted by Dormammu's dominion. Thanos' only hope in this nightmarish arena would be to use the Space Stone to teleport out, considering it would work. Outside the Dark Dimension, however, the Gauntlet signs. A well-placed Power Stone Blast could potentially cripple Dormammu. The Reality Stone offers a multitude of options, from imprisoning Dormammu in a horrifying paper mache sculpture to erasing him from existence entirely. Time Stone's ability to manipulate time could be crucial, allowing Thanos to undo any damage Dormammu inflicts or even trap him in a time loop, similar to Doctor Strange's strategy. But one thing to remember, Underestimating Dormammu's raw power and resilience outside his domain would be a grave mistake. He could still unleash devastating attacks or attempt to possess Thanos, a scary thought even for the mad titan with the full infinity gauntlet. All that power comes at a price. Using all the stones together is like trying to run a marathon after a five course meal, not for the faint of the heart. Even Thanos might struggle with the strain. So, to finally answer your question about who wins, Thanos with the infinity stones or Dormammu? Well, like we said, it's complicated. Thanos with the gauntlet outside the Dark Dimension has a clear advantage, but underestimating Dormammu's power anywhere is a recipe for disaster. As for the Dark Dimension, without the power of gauntlet outside of the native reality, Thanos would get bit slapped. Regardless, this would be a fight for the Aces with the fate of universe hanging in the balance. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck!